Hey, good morning. Welcome back to the Jeep Solo Garage. I'm super excited to announce the Stroker build is back online. I finally collected all the parts I needed to continue with this. I've been waiting a long time. You guys have been waiting a long time. So I'm excited to share this with you. We're gonna go over what the machine shop has done for me. Obviously last time we left off, this engine looked a lot different. The machine shop did quite a bit of work. We're gonna go over our engine tech parts, talk about everything we got here and what this Stroker build is gonna look like. So let's get started. And this video is sponsored by Engine Tech. They gave me all these parts that I need for my rebuild on this. They have a master rebuild kit, which includes all these parts, everything you're gonna need. Here we have a new timing chain, sprockets. Here's our lifters, new oil pump, uh, camshaft. What are these? These are, oh, these are our bearings that we're gonna need. Piston rings, plugs. We're gonna be talking about uh, steel plugs versus brass plugs. And here's their complete gasket kit. So be sure to check out Engine Tech's website linked in the description below for all these parts. So yeah, as we left off last time, this engine looked a lot different. We finished uh, dismantling everything. Then I took it to the machine shop. The first thing I had them do was hot tank it. I've tried cleaning engine blocks myself. It's a huge pain, it's dirty, it's messy. It was like, what, 60 or 80 bucks, I think, for the machine shop to hot tank it. And they clean it thoroughly and paint it, get down in all the nooks and crannies, areas that are just super hard to clean on your own. So I really like having the machine shop clean the block for you because they're gonna be doing some work for me anyways. So that's a good first step. The other thing they did for me is they uh, decked the top of the block here. Uh, just shaved off a super tiny little bit to make sure that it's perfectly flat and even. And then they honed the blocks. I had them hone the blocks, or not hone the blocks, they bored the block, bored the blocks, bored the cylinders. There we go, all right, we're on track. They bored the cylinders, 30 thousandths over. Now, why did I go 30 thousandths over? You can go up to 60 thousandths over on these engine, but that is it. Uh, you can't really push it past that limit, otherwise the cylinder walls get too thin and that block is just done. Do, uh, the difference between 30 thousandths over and 60 thousandths over, it makes such a tiny, tiny difference that I decided to do just the 30 thousandths over because if I ever want to bore this block again, I can. Where if you do a 60 thousandths over, you're done. That's it, you can't uh, bore this block anymore. So 30 thousandths over, I can still use this block if I want to in the future and rebore it. The other thing I had them do was hone the cylinders. I've tried doing my own hone jobs before and it turns out okay-ish. It's not that much more for the machine shop to do it. You get that professional, nice hash mark, just a really good, uh, hone job done and when I, when I did my own, last time I did my own, uh, took it in the machine shop, showed them, they said like, yeah, it's okay, but we don't think your rings on your pistons are gonna seat very well. If you have a bad hone job, that's the problem you run into, is the rings don't seat well and you can end up with problems, leaks, other issues like that. So that is everything. Obviously they painted it a nice cool red, Oh, yes, they installed the cam bearings for me too. Uh, you can install your own cam bearings. To me, it's not worth that hassle. You have to have a special tool, which nowhere around here can I rent or borrow. It's an expensive tool, it cost a couple hundred bucks, but for them to put the cam bearings in was like $50. So I can have them do that many times for the cost of a tool, and they're done perfect. You're not gonna mess them up. The cam bearings, it, you can get them tweaked, off-centered, you can ruin them. So having them do it, it's done, it's professional, no problem there. The rest of the assembly of this, I'm gonna do myself. Uh, that's all that I have the machine shop do. Let me cover exactly what all that cost on from the machine shop. Alrighty, I found my invoice from the machine shop here. So to clean and mag the block, so when they mag it, they're looking for cracks in the block, hot tanking it, cleaning it, and installing the cam bearings, all of that together was 75 bucks. 
to bore and hone the cylinders was $96. To have the block decked was $100. Ugh, that's a lot, but needs, needed to be done, so $100 for that. And then I also had them hang the pistons on the rods for me. That was $30. So altogether, $301, and that's everything I needed from the machine shop. Now before we can start installing all these parts, even though this came back all nice and pretty from the machine shop, we're not quite ready for assembly. We need to take some wire brushes and we're going to clean all the threads where everything bolts onto this because a lot of those parts ground to the block itself and I did run into an issue where the ground on the block on my last build I didn't clean that well enough after my rebuild went to start it up it wouldn't fire up finally narrowed it down to this ground not being good when I cleaned it then it fired up real well also got to clean these recesses where the core plugs are going to go and then we're going to pressure wash it so let's get started Now once we have the block dried and everything blown off, all the uh, threaded holes blown out because water will settle down in there so you gotta blow all those holes out, it's essential that you take some WD-40 and you spray down all the freshly milled surfaces and the cylinders, the freshly honed cylinders. You want to spray them down with some WD-40, otherwise this will start to rust on you really quickly. It's actually amazing how quick this will start to rust. So take a lint-free rag, spray it down, wipe everything down, just to get a nice little coat of oil on there. And with that, our engine is all nice and clean, ready for assembly. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate the support. Be sure to check out my next video right up here. Have a good day.